more unrelated to the vaccine. Um, over the weekend, there was reporting that at Guantanamo, a facility was closed and some detainees were consolidated. Mm -hmm. Is that indicative at all of the Pentagon's review of closing Gitmo, of the president's plan and in a timeline to, to potentially make that proposal to close Gitmo? Uh, the president remains committed. Uh, that is his desire and the outcome he would like to see. Obviously, that process would be overseen by the Department of Defense. Uh, so I would refer you to them for more specifics about that, those moves and that announcement. Go ahead. Um, so another uh, foreign policy question. Uh, president Zelensky of Ukraine, uh, he has said publicly that um, that country needs to join NATO to avoid um, a war in the mm -hmm. Donbass region with Russia. Uh, we know that he brought that up on his call uh, mm -hmm. with the Canadian Prime Minister. Did he bring that up with President Biden on their recent call? Um, and uh, I guess more importantly, uh, what is the President's view on that um, issue? Well, um, one, uh, that has long been the um, aspiration of Ukraine, uh, and one that has been raised in a range of conversations uh, with U.S. officials over the course of several years. I would defer to them. We would, of course, defer to the Ukrainian government on reading out uh, what they raised um, on the call uh, with the president. Uh, but you know, in addition to uh, we're we're all in addition to our reassurances uh, that are consistently made uh, to Ukrainian officials of our support for them and support for their sovereignty. We're also discussing our concerns about the increase in tensions and the ceasefire violations, regional tensions with NATO allies, uh, and certainly would, uh, would, would uh, be here to hear from them, as we have for years, about their aspirations and the process they need to go through. But as far as uh, an official White House position on whether they should be able to join NATO soon? Is there a position? Again, it's been an aspiration of Ukraine's for some time. We've long uh, been discussing that aspiration with Ukraine. We are uh, strong supporters of them. We are engaged with them uh, in working to push back on the destabilizing actions. Uh, but uh, that's a decision for NATO to make, and we'll continue to be, uh, you know, uh, recipients of their interests. Okay, and you said a, a minute ago that uh, the Georgia voting rights law was based on a lie. Mm -hmm. We had a, a poll yesterday that showed that m more than half of Republicans uh, believe that the election was stolen from Donald Trump and that the Capitol riot was led by left-wing agitators. Um, is there a public policy response to disinformation? Well, first, um, to disinformation in general. Uh, look, I, I think that um, the prevalence of disinformation is something that is of concern to the president. Uh, he believes there is uh, a range of um, reasons for it. Some relate to the platforms. Uh, some relate to the uh, individual actors who are promoting and provoking uh, destabilizing activities and actions through their rhetoric. He's spoken to that in the past. Um, you know, this is certainly uh, an, an issue that the president is focused on, and he will. Uh, work with his team on, on addressing through policy uh, measures, but I don't have anything to preview.